Developments raising new questions tonight in the case against a St. Louis couple who pointed guns at protesters outside their Central West End home. As far as obtained a document that is causing legal experts to seriously question the actions of the prosecutor's office. News 4 investigator Lauren Traeger broke the story just an hour ago. And Lauren now tells us some people expect this could trigger an investigation. That is right. I do have that document right here. It was sent to us anonymously, but it does appear to be the lab report for the testing of the guns that we've seen in those viral videos. What the report reveals, legal experts I talked to say is quite problematic for prosecutors. I'm really surprised that charges have been filed. Um, that are you know, contrary to Missouri law. A report obtained by News 4 has legal analysts like Christy Flint casting serious doubt on the evidence against the McCloskeys. They know that they can't prove the case. At issue, to convict them of exhibiting a weapon as charged, prosecutors have to prove in part the guns were readily capable of lethal use. The document sent to News 4 anonymously appears to be a firearms analysis. It shows that two guns were taken to the firearms labs for testing. The first, the rifle which Mark McCloskey was seen holding outside his home on June 28th as protesters marched through the Central West End and came through a gate on the private street. According to the lab, it fired when tested, but the gun Patricia McCloskey had a small handgun examiners say could not be test fired as submitted at the request of prosecutor Chris Hinckley. The report says the firearm was stripped and found to have been assembled incorrectly. It was then reassembled properly, test fired and functioned as designed. It is very shocking to me. Flint says the report sheds an important light on what prosecutors knew when filing the charge and asserting in plain language on the charging documents that Patricia McCloskey's gun was readily capable of lethal force. Given what we know at this point that the gun was originally inoperable and um, the you know prosecutor knew that, uh, I, I, I think we've got big problems there. She says the report could trigger an investigation into the prosecutor's office. There are federal laws okay. that um, would or could apply in this situation. Now the McCloskey's defense attorney has been taking things a little bit further, suggesting the prosecutor may have actually tampered with evidence, sending a statement which reads, quote, it is disheartening to learn, if accurate, that the authorities tampered with evidence in order to bring charges against an innocent member of the community. Now we reached out to the circuit attorney's office today, but we're told they would not comment on a pending case. What's more, though, there is additional opposition to the case from the state's highest law enforcement officer. Why he thinks the case needs to be dismissed immediately. That's coming up on News 4 at 6. Reporting in the newsroom, Lauren Traeger, News 4.